The source is God. Part of the baggage that people carry around about this concept of God is it's some guy up in the sky a long, long ways away with the white beard, the Jehovah of the Old Testament, a God of judgment and vengeance and war, and in the New Testament with the Son of God. What we have is a lot of blood, a lot of suffering. So a lot of people come out of that tradition and say, oh, well, if union with God, that must be about suffering. That doesn't serve our purposes because our union with source is a union of celebration, just like the Native Americans had with their dances and their ceremonies. Not suffering, not struggling, not carrying and buckling under the weight of a cross of punishment, of humiliation. But like the little girl in the song, frolicking on the beach, playing with her daddy, the ocean. And the ocean celebrating as much as she is because he loves this cute little girl playing on his beach. And then last but not least, the church. So many people that I was discussing this shaman material with, they kept referring to the church, all the guilt, all the rules. And I know the church does a lot of good but it has damaged a lot of people from my own personal experience that I've encountered. So I've learned because of all these negative associations with God, maybe it's best to stay away from that and just talk about the source, okay? And then of course there's the goddess. In the 70s with the rise of feminism, there uh, were a lot of people who said, oh, the goddess has returned to earth. And I understand where they're coming from because for all these centuries in the Judeo-Christian tradition, God has been male. And the patriarchy of the church has sustained this maleness of the source. So with the goddess movement, God became a feminine figure, an earth mother rather than a sky god. And as we know, the church fought against the pagan earth religions for years and years and years and finally had to cave in and, and if you can't beat them, join them. They adopted many of the pagan festivals, became Easter, replaced the previous pagan spring festival. And the ancient pagan winter festival of light, of course, became Christmas, 